What's up, guys? My name is Andres. This is the Ventura County Real Estate Show. Thanks for stopping by again. In this episode, we're going to talk about why you need to become a real estate investor. Um, so there's a myth going around that everyone's job is going to take care of them. And the situation that we're currently in, the, we're in 2020, March 2021, um, so we're getting an towards hopefully the tail end of the 2020 pandemic, uh, we have had a bucket full of cold water thrown on us as to how our employers will take care of us. So uh, your employers are there to make money for themselves and or their investors. So uh, they are not there to take care of you and your family, right? You provide a service to your employer. You go to work. You do tasks at work that then allow your employer to then make money on the other end. They then compensate you for your time. So however long you're there for whatever wage you earn, that's how much money you're going to make. And... Um, you can be the best saver in the world, and you most likely, there are a very small percentage of people that are able to become financially independent by saving and only using their job as their, as their source of income. As I mentioned in the previous video, a large majority of the people that are wealthy and have generational wealth got that wealth from investing in real estate uh, for the sake of this um, this video. You can also invest in other things, but for the sake of this video, they invested in something that uh, generated wealth over a long period of time. So what that tells you is if all you want to do is eat every day during the years that you are able to work, then just work. Go to your nine to five job, uh, uh, you know, invest in your 401k, save your bonuses you get every year. That will allow you to, uh, yes, have a roof over your head, food in your belly, clothes on your back, okay? But if you want to do anything important, let's say for your family, if you want to have generational wealth for your family, uh, have a large estate to then hand down to them when you pass on, Let's say you don't want to work until you're, you know, whatever, 67, 70 years old. You want to, say, uh, stop working when you're still able to enjoy your life, 50, 55 years old. Uh, you want to be able, you want to be a philanthropist in your community. You want to give back to the community, um, donate money. And it's great to donate time, but what re people really need is they need you to donate money to whatever cause you feel is important. The only way you're going to do that is if you invest in real estate. And it is a long game. You are not going to be uh, a Rockefeller overnight. It's going to take years and years of you doing extra work after hours and using that money that you make at your job for something other than uh, paying for vacations and a new car. Because you want to invest in the long term and invest in your family, you might have to go without things in your younger years. So you can then use that money. In the previous video, I talked about the three um, tasks that you should be working on, especially if you're someone that has a full-time job. Uh, these three tasks will get the most uh, progress for you in, uh, I don't want to use the word shortest amount of time, but if you only have a limited amount of time to devote to real estate, those three things, if you want to check out my previous video, I'll probably tag it here. Those are the things you need to worry about. The most important thing you need with all those things is you need um, money, so that comes from your nine to five, but that is only a seed that you're planting so that when it's time to Harvest your crop, if you want to use that analogy. Uh, you have over 20, 30 years of real estate investing, bought one home a year, one home, you know, two homes every other year. You've um, slowly increased your portfolio in the number of homes, single family, multifamily, 
Uh, and if you go in with somebody as a partner, you, maybe you get apartment apartment buildings, right? So over a long period of time, you're slowly adding to your portfolio because you know that one, at the end of your um, working career, you want to decide when you're going to stop and you want as much money in your, um, you know, cash of, of um, you know, of uh, your war chest at the end of the day. The only way you're going to get there quicker is with some sort of investment and in real estate is really uh, a great way to use your money to build uh, generational wealth. So don't be fooled into thinking that, you know, savers are going to, um, you know, saving money is going to get you to where you want to be in the time frame that you want. Uh, that's uh, a myth that everyone believes. You need to be proactive and find things to put your money into uh, so that you can, um, you know, grow a war chest of, of money that you can use to do whatever you want with it. You know, send your kids to school, um, send your grandkids to school. And uh, when you're when it's time for you to pass on, you then have uh, money you can give to your family at the at, at the end where they can uh, continue your um, journey to you know grow a big portfolio. Um, you know, philanthropy, all these things require money, and real estate investing is a great way for you to then for you to do that and um, provide for your family in the long term and provide for yourself the type of retirement. Um, and lifestyle that you deserve. So uh, don't be afraid to invest in real estate. It isn't as scary as everyone thinks. You know, the first one probably is scary. After that, you're a seasoned veteran and it shouldn't be a problem. My name is Andres. This is the Ventura County Real Estate Show. I'm a, a real estate agent here in Ventura County. Uh, you can contact me at 805-443-1576 or you can email me at andresbcrealtor at gmail.com. Uh, if you follow the link in the description or you go to my website, uh, you can pick up my first time home buyer guide. Uh, and send me an email. I'll send you a free copy, a PDF. I'll have the link there. Also, I uh, have this up on Amazon along with other couple, couple of other books that I have up there. If anything you want to talk about regarding real estate, don't hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to talk about investing or upgrading or downgrading or, you know, first time home buyer, whatever your needs are. Uh, give me a call. We can talk about it. Again, this is the Ventura County Real Estate Show. My name is Andres. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.